Would you have any interest in selling the lot of the, the Roman ones? Welcome in everyone. In this video, I'm hunting the Philadelphia Sports Card and Memorabilia Show for Vintage Sports Memorabilia. This is gonna be part one. There's gonna be a part two of this video coming out in either next week or the week after. So I hope you enjoy. And also check out the live podcast that myself and my friend King of Pennants have on this channel, Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time. We have a giveaway every episode where the person guessing the closest to the selling price of a particular piece of sports memorabilia wins the giveaway. So I hope to see you there. Yeah, absolutely. It's so not authentic. Like it's not Aramark or Champion or whatever. Yeah. This is like a South Philly. Like a I'm going to go rogue. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. Like a like parking lot. Kind of, yeah. yeah. They were probably selling them out of the park. Yeah. Lot. Very cool. Oh, you do. I'll tell you the one I sold at the last show. I sold a similar one like this of the 80 World Series. Oh, yeah. Just, and it was beautiful. Yeah. I'm not going to squeeze into it. But. It is cool. I got some room on that. Yeah. What was your best pick? I'll tell you what, I could probably do that for, uh, I'd do that for like 80 bucks. Yeah, I'll take that. You want to do that? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do that. That's yeah, just super cool if you're a Dr. Yeah. J guy. Or yeah, oh, absolutely. Huge Sixers guy. I'm going to double check, double check me. I don't know if I threw a 50 in there by mistake. Dude, okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. I'll get nah, you I'm glad you could get that. Absolutely, man. I appreciate it. Very nice. Uh, would you like a bag? No, I can throw it around my backpack. And is it okay if I keep the hanger? Yeah, for sure. Huh? Yeah, you want to get something else out front, right? Yeah. To get yeah. eyes on something. Eventually. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you, bud. It's a great shirt. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, very cool. I never saw it before. Do you know the years on the smaller subs, 18s? You just can't see a year on. Yeah, so if you look real carefully right in the corner there, oh, I think it's I see actually it, yeah. listed there, Lafayette College of Pennsylvania. I think that's 1924. I see 25 here. It's really hard to see, but they are. How are you selling them? Um, by the pair. Are these basically 20 a pair up top? Yeah, or yeah like 20 a pair. And then you said 100 down here. 100 for the pair of the pair. For those, I don't know, 50 maybe for the pair with the, the rip in them. Okay. Cornell. I don't know. It's tough to find comps on them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. I saw there was a guy sold one from that year on eBay. He got 140 for just one of them. Okay. But yeah, I think it was Notre Dame or something like that. So I'm, uh, Notre Dame, Penn State. I think we got it. Yeah, obviously, a much more sought after ticket, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, Notre Dame collectors are pretty strong. How about the ticket booklets, too? As well, um, that yeah, one that's here. a good question. Again, I had no idea what to ask on them. So, uh, 25 a booklet? I don't know. You mind if I take a look at one of them? Sure, go ahead. Take a look at any one you want. Okay. So, oh, sorry. That's all right. Yeah, that one actually, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I was looking at these here. Oh, that's okay. That one there, I, I think I'd like to try and get maybe like 100 for that one. I don't know. There's a bunch that didn't get used. Yeah. I wonder if they would ever have tickets like this in there or they would be like, I don't know. Yeah, one of them has the... Um, if you want to re-up for the next season, um, there still has that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get 1931, but he must have graduated in 1930 or whatever. You know, you didn't re-up in 31. <laughs> would you do? Uh, would you do 80 for the top row in these two? I think it would have been 100 otherwise, right? Yeah. Why don't we do that? Okay, I'll do that. We'll do that. And you know, those are just. The backs of the ticket stubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured you have them turned that way to show them what they look like.
Do you have a 20? Uh, 100? You go, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy them. We'll do. Mm -hmm. These are all hot. Is this your stuff here? Mm -hmm. Are they all hockey? All hockey except for um, a few Indians and pirates. Oh, that's right. I did see them. Yeah. yeah. Forgot I saw them. But all the rest are hockey. There's some winter classic ones on the bottom. Made by Roman company yeah. that was in Buffalo, so, but I think they were like in the, I would say this is 23, I've had them probably 10 years trying to get rid of, move, move yeah. some stuff, yeah. you know, and he bought the guy that I bought them from, bought out the company when they went out of business. Let's see what's in the bottom here. 20 years? Okay. These guys are a little newer in the bottom, but they might be a different batch, like 2017. Yeah, those the Winter are Classic stuff. Yeah, yeah, from a different company. You mind if I said I'm on the ground? Yeah, right perfect. This is Take me it. too. So okay, perfect. I don't want to cover up your stuff. Oh, that's fine. Let's see what's on the bottom. It's like pirates, Indians. Classic. Ooh. That's one of the HL tags. Yeah, these are some uh, Black Hawk giveaways. Okay. I wonder when that company went out of business. I've had Roman stuff, and I know it varies with time what they are, but. Yeah. Um, I, I had all intents and purposes. I could put them all on eBay, especially yeah. the Indian ones. Yeah. But it just. Oh, I saw a line, but you, I can't sell Indian stuff where I sell because they. Uh, because of the logo, they banned it. Redskins, Indians. Yeah. Well, so. Indians. I'm sorry, they're still Indians. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I'm from Ohio, so that's a little bit of a... Plus, the, the new name is not too great either. <laughs> would you have any, uh... Would you have any interest in selling the lot of the, the Roman ones? Not the Winter Classic, which there's not many of them. But I'll as a, at a five bucks each. I them all, all the Roman ones. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know how many were, but I'll count them up. So what I was referring to there is I sell a lot of hats on Etsy, but I can't sell Cleveland Indians or Washington Redskins items on Etsy. So these hats, most of these hats are going to end up going in my eBay store instead of my Etsy shop. Four, five, six, seven, four, eight. 59, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Right, so looks like 250 something, right? Let's see. So 280 if I'm right, right? 56. Cool. All right. Be 290, right? 250, 40, so 290. Leave your sign for the other hats in case you want that for the other hats. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it. Very much. Have a good show. Thank you. And you have somewhere to sit, too. There go. <laughs> yeah. So this is a pretty cool group of hats that I picked up at this show. So the dealer had these priced at $10 each, but I can tell they're all dead stock with tags. They're all Roman brand. And I believe that company went out of business in the mid nineties, if I recall, I forget the exact year, but these are all Roman brand hats. Say so half were fitted, half were snapbacks, 56 of them all together. Again, they were asking $10 each, but when I asked you know, price of mine, if I bought them all, so he dropped it down to $5. I didn't really hesitate at that price. Because I think some of these snapback hockey hats uh, should do well. A lot of them are fitted out front. The baseball ones, the Blackhawks, but the Victorias and back in these thistles, these are all snapbacks. So I'll show you how many of each one right now. 
There are 10 of these. Winnipeg, Victoria's, Snapback, new with tags, hockey hats. There are six of these, Victoria. Victoria, great color on these. Snapback hats. That one doesn't have the tag. The other ones all have the tags. So six of them. There are three of these Kenora Thistles. Fitted Roman brand snapback hats with tags. There are five of these Spartak. Yeah, Spartak Moscow. There are two groups of Blackhawks. These are both fitted as well. Again, these are all Roman brand new with tags. In this style, the NHL original six on back. There are two, two of them. And I think there's four... I'm sorry, six of these in new with tags. There was one that was slightly different. There's a slightly different color here. I think it was this guy. And this one doesn't have that back hit, but it has a side hit instead. So slightly different on that one. They got all new with tags, fitted Blackhawks. All right, so there are 14 of these Pirates fitted hats. There are eight of these Indians fitted hats, all Roman brand. And then two single different style fitted Indian hats, Chief Wahoo on that one, and then that Indians. So those are all fitted on, on that group. So also at this show, I bought this killer vintage 76ers t-shirt. I'm a big Sixers fan. This was a larger size. I would have kept this. This was probably like a bootleg, maybe a parking lot bootleg shirt that they sold either prior to the parade or at the games. But very cool t-shirt. Never had seen it before. Was happy to pick that up. All right, the last thing I picked up in this video was this group of 10 ticket stubs. There were duplicates. There was ticket stubs to five different games. So I'm showing five of them here. But it was $80 for 10 stubs. These were all 1920s. University of Pennsylvania football ticket stubs. I love selling ticket stubs. Super easy to photograph. You only need two photos of each stub and even easier to ship. So I love selling these. I have sold a few of these already in the profit already and the rest are all listed as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.